all right you guys welcome back to another episode picking up where we left off last time we've got a lot of meteor impacts we got to go check we need aluminum that's for sure um iron probably wouldn't hurt the only thing i did in between episodes was clear out my inventory so let's go check these impact sites and then we'll loop around over to that ship see if we get anything decent and i think those are from the last one we got cobalt okay Silicone. I gotta wait for these to despawn a little bit. There's a shiny. And another one. Aluminum. Alright. Aluminum is what we need. Nice. Let's go check back over at this one. See if it showed us anything good. Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's still cobalt. See something right here behind this one. Uh, silicone. Okay, let's check this one down here. It's titanium, not from the crash or the impact. Iron. Mostly looking for aluminum. All the crafting stuff we're in now requires pretty much just aluminum. Alright. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll head over to the crash site. I've got an oxygen bottle I can use. Can I jump up here? I can. That's huge. Alright. A lot of iron, a lot of silicone, magnesium. We're looking for the shinies. I'm not really seeing anything else. Okay. Well... Um, did any of them crash over here? Is that ice? Ice. What's up here? I know sometimes you can find like those golden chests. I just don't know if there's one up here anywhere. I'm not seeing one. If there is one, then maybe we'll find it one of these days. Okay, so let's pick up some of this stuff. Um, I guess we'll take some magnesium. Cobalt, we were low on. I know I've been ignoring it, trying to find the, uh, the aluminum before it despawns, but... I guess now we can pick up some of this other stuff. Silicone. Uh, that one wasn't loose, but that's fine. Alright. Head back to the base real quick and figure out... Actually, I just put that communications antenna up at the end of the last episode. So let's uh, read some emails, kind of catch up on the backstory. After we make another storage locker. Can I fit it right there? Oh, I can. Beautiful. Alright. Let's 
check our emails while we're waiting for that. That's actually, we're almost at blue skies. I mean, I would consider this blue skies, but yeah. Okay. Sure. I, I guess once we hit 175,000, then we're officially at blue skies. So let's see what we got here. Um, convict, you've chosen to have your sentence commuted to an extradition. To get all the charges against you dropped, you must fully terraform this planet. Our sensors will periodically scan your progress and send you the required blueprints. Do not try to contact Sentinel Corp. If our sensors do not detect any advancement in the terraformation progress, you will be considered missing and the charges will not be dropped. Fair enough. You cannot claim ownership or value over anything on the planet. You're only allowed to use the resources found on the planet to increase your terraformation index. You're not allowed to leave the planet until the terraformation is complete. Fair enough. Um, planet unnamed is located in the Zidial Prime Sector. I think that's how you pronounce that. Pre-civilization sector, crossed mostly by trade ships, traveling between big spaceports. 842 planets. That would explain why we have so many moons, or we can see so many planets. Alright. Fair enough. That seems like it so far. Are we sitting here? 62%. Okay. We're almost at blue skies. I'm getting really close. Alright, let's see what we can craft. Um. I wouldn't really be opposed to expanding the base. I think we do that. Let's expand the base. But which way? I, I guess this way is really the only way to go. Um, we could probably go one more out the back. Let's grab some water real quick. Oh, we have water. Okay, we'll use that. I guess we'll... Eat the eggplant. How are we doing power-wise? Um, we don't really have a monitor to check that, do we? Silicone magnesium. I guess we'll put that down there for the time being. We'll get that figured out here in a little bit. Okay, so we got 14 kilowatts available. So what if... We did another food grower? Aluminum, iron, and water? And this one, I... I think we'll do, um, let's do squash. Okay, so those are going. We're gonna do the expansion. Three iron, three titanium, two super alloy, really. Oof, that's a little pricey. New message received, nice, nice. I don't think our drill is actually doing anything. That's right. We'll let it be. I don't like that it's floating. Can we make... I guess technically we can for aesthetic purposes. Oh, it's going to want to lock on. There we go. I guess that one we can place a little bit better. I 
like right there. Sure. That'll work. I don't know if this is going to be our permanent base or not. I know we are going to want something somewhat close to water, but I'm not sure where water spawns on this side of the map. Or this area, I should say. If I had to guess, right down there, but won't know for a little while. Oh, and I just put that food grower in like the worst possible spot. Okay, let's pull this out for now. Uh, deconstruct. All right, so much more room for activities. Let's go ahead and do our food in this back corner. Okay. Food goes there. I guess these, for now, we can move. Um, let's put those against this wall. If I can push right button. And we just got an advanced crafting station. Alright, got our oxygen going. Once these are actually ready to be harvested, we'll move these back there too. And then I think this wall will be our storage lockers. How close are we? Oh, we're there. We got blue skies now. Nice. So, now what? What's our next goal? Let's see here. Riley. Who is Riley? Finally managed to locate the system they sent you to. I don't have much time, but I'll try to give you some advice. The success rate for Planet Crafters is very low because it's almost an impossible task. You find space food in your pod and maybe in space wrecks. Check. You'll be able to grow food when you meet the correct requirement, so try to find some vegetable seeds. Check. Exploration and improvements are essential. Explore and improve your equipment to increase your chances of survival. Hope this message reaches you. Sound advice. It all checks out. Now that is done, we can actually move these screens somewhere else, I think. Or maybe I'll put a table over on this side. Um... Oh, you know what? Let's put... If we're going to do our storage here, then our crafter should go in here, right? That would only make sense. So what does this do? Uh, advanced tools and blueprints. Okay, so let's get three aluminum, titanium, magnesium, silicone. Do we have three aluminum? We do. Uh, magnesium, silicone... Titanium. All right. So I think maybe for now we'll put it like right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I kind of forgot about the whole power thing. All right. Well, um, iron, magnesium, silicone, two cobalt, and aluminum. Once again, we're burning through our our stuff. Uh, two cobalt. Silicone, was that it? Magnesium, I thought I grabbed magnesium, maybe not. Well, obviously not. All right. Wait, did I just grab, oh, okay, yeah, no. Okay, power is back up. I mean, honestly, it probably wouldn't hurt to, to deconstruct some of the other stuff. All right, rocket engine, jetpack, fair enough. It's expensive, but doable. We can make a super alloy, but we know where to find super alloys, so there's that. Three super alloy and a titanium, or do we do three super alloy and a cobalt for an oxygen tank? I think we go backpack super alloy and titanium do we have six super alloy by chance no we've got enough for one 
Um, maybe we go oxygen tank, then we go back to that canyon. I, I think that might be the play. That's probably the smart play. Do the oxygen tank so we can last longer. Ooh, like twice as long. Alright, nice. That's at 46%. These are grown. Very good. Oh, let's, um... Deconstruct these. And let's put... A food grower... There. And a food grower... Throw some eggplant in here. Okay, now we know where the super alloy is. It's over there in that canyon. There's our other little building. There's also food over there for us too, inside that wreck. So, while this is going, I suppose we should go get some more super alloy. What are we going to need to take with us? We've got water. Let's top off on that. Let's make some more. We're going to need to get some ice here pretty soon. For more water. 40. And these do 25 each. Um, you know Let's just go ahead and eat these. That'll almost top us off. Grab... Some food to take with us. We need oxygen, which is cobalt. I think we're out of cobalt now. No, not yet. Okay, let's go that way. Alright, we got another new message while we're heading over here to this canyon. Wonder what our next step is. I guess I probably could have looked at the uh, progress board. I would have told us. I'm pretty sure it's going to be water. If I remember right. Or is it clouds? It might be clouds. Okay. Here's some super alloy. Nice. Doesn't look like there's any down there. Let's hop in here and grab the rest of the stuff that was in here. Uh, what'd we leave in here? Some seeds. I guess we'll take the seeds with us. Lerma seed. Pretty sure we checked pretty much everything else. Yeah, nothing in there. This one has food, seeds, iridium. Yeah, oh, I didn't even see this one. Okay. Sure, we'll take the rest of that. Let's grab some more super alloy. Got weirdly quiet now that the music stopped. Ugh. It's like there's a few more over here. There's actually quite a few. Can I? Oh, I didn't know if I could make that jump or not. Hey, there it is. Okay, then. Um, We at least need the aluminum. Uh, how can I take all this back with us? So one, two. Probably like to take the uranium back with us. So what if... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to use our water, one of the foods. That'll give us the super alloy. And then, I guess, oxygen and we'll start heading back. Mm. Okay, well, we know where more is. So, I guess we could start heading back on that. Oh, this looks like a much safer way to get down. Oh, maybe not. Uh, it's a little bit safer. Still looks like a canyon. Let's go this way. Is this a different wreck? Oh, I know where these caves are. There's a... Okay, so 
the last playthrough, we were over here. There's like a little valley right here that I know for a fact gets um, water in it. This little dip right here, like just over that ridge, gets water in it. So we're actually not too far off. Are we getting meteors right now? Kind of hope not. Okay, there's nothing special in there. Oh, it's got like really foggy. That looks crazy. All right, here's our first chest. And that bigger oxygen tank is making a huge difference. Like, we'll be able to make it all the way back home from that canyon, so... I'd say it's definitely worth it. It also means our oxygen bottles will start going a little bit further, too. Less cobalt we'll have to use. Okay, we're back. Let's drop this stuff off. There we go. Producing more oxygen now. Cloth can go in there. And this is all food and plants. Guess we could take that out and put that in there. Let's make another water real quick. We we'll have to go get some more ice, but that's okay. All right. Well, we did some expanding. Um, yeah, we we've got our food going. That's pretty big. We're going to have to do some playing around and see what food gives us the most actual food. That one's at 77%. That's at 59%. And we know that... Oh, I already ate them. I think it was 25% for the eggplants. So we'll see what the squash does. And then we'll throw beans in into one of the eggplant ones to see what that does. So... Yeah, our, our next stage is clouds. After clouds, I think, is going to be moisture. Um, let's see what our message from Riley is. I managed to obtain more information. I read that you have a greater chance of success if you build your base at an altitude. I'm not sure why yet. If you manage to heat the planet up enough, some caves should become accessible when the ice melts. And one last thing, you can... Message intercepted. All right. They're on to us. How are we doing? We've still got 12 power. We'll have to add some more heaters here in a little bit. Yeah. Oh, how about that? A nuclear reactor. What's that cost? You know, crazy enough, we can actually make that. Just had to make sure there wasn't any meteors coming down that we'd have to go chase after, but... So, we got some expansion going. We got stuff a little bit more organized I'll do something with these crates right here probably off camera all of our storage is going to get moved down to right here and I'll put that crafter probably right here um, I sort of want to expand off of this again maybe that way possibly so well that was a weird like little I, I must have landed or stopped like perfectly in the middle. Can I get that to happen again? That was weird. Nope, I guess not. So, yeah. Um, probably just going to organize the storage off camera. And I think we're just going to leave it off there because we made a decent amount of progress for a short amount of time. So if you guys liked it, go ahead, leave a like, subscribe if you guys haven't yet, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.